All right, I want to. I want you guys to. I got. I'll pull this game up here. I'm talking about Owasso and Edmo Memorial, and uh, this was. This got a lot. It was in the moment, and we'll let it play out, and then we'll kind of describe what we have here. But Owasso and Ed Memorial, 42-42, about four thirteen left in the game, and Owasso goes down, and uh, I. It's best to play play it out and kind of talk over it, or let everyone see. I'm trying to think the best way to pr- I, I I present see it this. first. Yeah, you want to see it first? Okay. It first. All right. So we'll let we'll let Tony see it here first. So Owasso has the ball at the 25 yard line. I'm going to do this without audio on this, so uh, no audio on here. But here here's the play. I think you're probably going to have to see it twice, Tony. But here we go. Ball's at the 25. Watch the the focus here is going to be this linebacker here gets through the hole. And he gets there. looks like he's going to score. Balls pop loose. There's a scramble. And Edmund Memorial comes up with it. There Now, there's a flag in the end zone, and there's a flag here. I, I will give you a hint. There's also a helmet right here. Okay? So what's going to happen? And that's a memori- that looks that's like a memorial, memorial helmet. helmet. Memorial helmet. So what's going on? These, these officials are going to talk about this for, period um, of time. for a period of yeah. time. And... Um, so let's. I think if we can go back and watch the play now, and we'll back it up here just a little bit. Brown about the eighteen. So we're going to talk about hit, talk about this play, and then I will I will slow it down here. So oh, they're coming I know up exactly to exactly what's going to yeah, happen. Yeah, and there was a lot of confusion, and um, we'll let this play out here. We'll, let me guess: the linebacker recovers the fumble. Nope. 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 Okay. So so here we go. I will pause it here and kind of talk about it as this play happens. This is a. So the play happens. The linebacker right here is where his helmet is going to come off, right here. It has popped off. There goes the kid. It's popped off. Now he's running with no helmet on, obviously trying to get the guy, the runner. Ball pops loose. It is a fumble. Ed, Mo- Ed Memorial recovers. Now the kid who lost his helmet does not recover it, but he's there celebrating. There's another flag just thrown there. Okay, so once he loses his helmet, in my opinion, he becomes an ineligible player. He has to cease all actions from the play. That is correct. Illegal participation. That is correct. That yes, is correct. So that's the 15 yard flag for that. Mm-hmm. So half the distance to the half goal, Owasso's football. Right. Because the fumble hasn't occurred yet. Correct. Really, regardless of the regardless. Regardless. At the spot. Right. Right. I think it's right. at the spot. Yeah. At, yeah. at this the spot, the kid yeah. has to cease all activity. He yeah, cannot, he he cannot pursue the play anymore. He literally has to stop playing. Wow. And so Owasso scores moments later, and they hold on to win 49 42. Now, this is the crazy thing. Wow. There's not, there's not an ounce of blame on this kid that got the penalty. No. He's trying to make a play. Yeah. You know, it's pretty he's tough. To win a football game. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's right. But the rule is there for player safety. Yeah, hundred percent for player safety. Whether mm-hmm. you agree or not, the rule. Whether you agree rule. or not, it's the rule. And the, of course, the officials nailed it. They absolutely did. Absolutely perfect. Officials got it perfectly. Got right. it right. hundred percent. Yeah. And Matt Portwood says it should offset, but there it's not an offset because if you if you throw a ninety yard touchdown pass and there's holding, it comes back. What well, what was so, the other flag? I think I think what I he, think, I think what, he was marking without without asking the officials and there's a there's a, been a lot of discussion yeah. on this play here. I think the official in the end zone says fumble. Oh, you don't have you, a have, you don't have a helmet on. What you, yeah, right. What, 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 are you, what are you doing? What are you doing? You can't be. <laughs> so he basically flagged him for the same flag that was exactly. already correct. 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 Okay. correct. Okay. Yeah. One flag. He didn't see the the previous flag. Correct. He correct. was, so he was in the only end zone. one. Yeah. 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 I think he's got a bunch to look at. Yeah. Yeah. It's the same situation when you see a, a defensive player go off sides. Everybody throws your flag, right? Yeah. yeah. So it's kind of the same yeah. thing. Everybody, yeah. everybody, he got flagged for the same thing. That if you're Memorial, if you're a Memorial fan, Memorial coach, or for sure a Memorial player. You're sitting there still today, going, "What? Why does that matter?" You know, I mean, yeah. you are. I mean, you are. <laughs> you, well, you, you know? said it in a word, Phil. It's just safety. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I mean, but, but those kids don't care about that. No. <laughs> and, and, and kudos to the officiating crew they getting together, right. talked about it, and I, I, I went through there a little bit and fast forward and didn't go through it, but they went through the process of, sure of what we have yeah. and got together, and talked got about who right. the crew was. I, I do not, I, and I I understand there was like twenty seven flags. You know, I think there was a lot of flags. I think there was another controversial play, but video doesn't really show if it wasn't. I don't know if it's controversial. I don't know if they got it right. Wrong. I don't know. But this big play, I know one hundred percent they got it right. So, yeah. well, that's uh, the main it, thing. There's so many rules in football, I, and I we we do it all the time. There, I can't even begin to understand yeah. all those rules. Let, let me ask you guys a question. I mean, you guys have seen countless football games. Do you think in high school there could be a flag thrown for something every snap? Pretty darn close. I think yeah. any any league it can happen. Pretty darn close. Yeah. 
I mean, holding almost every what play. About basketball, hand checking. Yeah, or, you know, yeah. There's, yeah. And that's what I think. That's the nuanced stuff that that folks that are just a casual fan of the game don't really think about. Right. You know, I mean, there's more to being an official. I mean, yes, you got to call the the fouls. You got to do all that stuff. But it's also controlling the flow of the game, controlling. You want to control the temperament of the game. Yeah. You know, so I mean, there's just a lot of things. You got to manage both sidelines. You got, I mean, there's a lot to deal with. Dallas, um, uh, Dallas confirms there were, there were two <coughs> flags for the same penalty. So, well, there, we again, if, if you go back and watch the Guthrie Carver game, if you go to watch the production on GMP TV, the first thing the White Hats says, we don't want to throw flags. Yeah. Let's play good. Let's play strong. And yeah. a lot of a lot of the White Hats we talk to, they they they're not looking to throw a flag. They're looking not to throw a flag. Yeah. Yeah. They do not want to make a call unless they have to. Well, well, but you can also you can also bet that those head coaches when they come in for their meetings in the locker room are telling them, "Hey, watch this particular kind sure, of thing." Sure, absolutely. Yeah, sure, absolutely, yeah. absolutely. Yeah, we're going to run so, this trick play. Or yeah, and yeah. they're telling them, "So hey, yeah. these, this player is is notorious for holding. Please watch 100%. it specifically." Yeah, I, that's good gamesmanship. Yeah. Absolutely. And Tony, you can talk about you're you're a huge supporter of officials, and uh, I think a lot of us are on here as well but um you know you know the officials pretty uh, pretty well much like i do and that we what we've all learned over the years and i'm telling you football's so hard i'm Ugh. i i can't even you know I, baseball has a lot of rules but you growing up and, and doing it i get but man these football you know two penalties spot here no spot here do yep. you go from here I and mean, it's so crazy it's it's so, just like we had a, we had two penalties in our game friday night and i was sitting here trying to guess what was getting ready to happen because there were so many variations to okay, when did this penalty occur versus that one? Where Light was ball, that? Dead ball, you know. And, and and the one thing that really blows my mind now this year, guys, is the holding penalty. Yeah. If it's past the line of scrimmage, it's from the spot of the foul. Mm-hmm. If not, it's from the original line of scrimmage. Yeah. And trying to figure out which way it goes. And, yeah. And uh, last week I was guessing, and Jeff Matheny was with us, and and he said, "Let's just let him figure." Yeah. It yeah. Out. Just yeah. stop guessing. Don't, yeah. Don't yeah. guess. That's right. But yeah. again, there's. There's between college and high school. There, there's completely different rules because in high school, there's no automatic first down. Well, to like me, a brings up a good point. Would you like to see high school and college marry each other? I wish it'd be a little more closer. Yeah. Because, for instance, say the Axtell on Carberts yeah. on their go ahead um, on their go ahead touchdown. If Axel does, it's fourth and fourth and fourth and goal from the five or whatever it was. If Axel grabs a wide receiver. Pulls him down, throws him on the ground, gets past interference. Is half it still distance. fourth down? It's half distance, but it's not a back first down. Is it still fourth down again? Yes. That's, yeah. that's the yeah, point. Yeah. Yeah. Like, NFL, like, it's a NFL, first down. NFL college, it's an automatic first down. There's no yeah. automatic first down. Right. So, I mean, if you're Guthrie, pull him down because your defense just stopped Xavier yeah. three times in a row. I don't think he was close <laughs> enough to pull him down. Yeah. yeah. He, yeah. He, At one point, he was. He saw him. Oh, he yeah. ran When he caught the ball, he wasn't. When he cut him, he goes all crap. But where he would have grabbed him would have been when he broke. Yeah. You know, and so, but listen. You know, and that was a great football game. It was a great football game. These ki- the, these officials, though, man, they work their tails off. I mean, they work their tails off. They do they do the best job they humanly can. I can promise you every one of those officials know the rules better than anybody in the stands. I can promise you Or in that. the booth. Or in the booth or anywhere else. I'm including us in the stands. We're in the booth. You know, and they know them better than most of the coaches. They just do. Um, so, I, I you know, I, it's, officiating is a tough business. It's a tough, tough business. And. We need to respect them and thank them and understand they're trying to get everything right. And you know, I guarantee you, they hate it when they make a, when they miss a call. No, it kills them more and, than it does anybody. And then they feel great when they make a great call like that against them Memorial exactly in right. the Wausau. They're like, oh yeah. man, that's big time. That's you a great right. call. You know, right. and you should pat yourself on the back because that is a big time, perfect call. Yeah, because and, officials watch officials. Yeah, I, sure. They got through call, but there was two two white hats that I know that didn't have game stars, so they came to Jelsma to watch games. Yeah, because and uh, it's just part of it. But. Uh,